Hello, boys and girls. One of the most interesting events in the New Testament was the conversion of Saul, who would later be named Paul. We read about his conversion in Acts 9. The word conversion means to change from one thing to another. Paul changed from being a Jewish religious leader called a Pharisee to a follower of Jesus. Later, Paul would have become an apostle. An apostle is a special messenger. Paul was an apostle or messenger for Jesus. One day, Paul was on his way to a city called Damascus. He was going to arrest followers of Jesus that lived there. Suddenly, as he got close to the city, a bright light shone around him and blinded him, making him fall to the ground. Then he heard a voice asking him, Why is he persecuting the Christians? Persecuting means to treat them very bad, sometimes even to kill them. Paul found out that the voice was Jesus. Jesus told him to go on to Damascus where he would find out what to do. Paul was still blind and had to have help. When Paul was on his way, Jesus told a man named Ananias to go to Paul to tell him what to do. Ananias was afraid, but went to Paul anyway. When he got there, Ananias healed Paul of his blindness and told him that he needed to be baptized to wash away his sins. Paul did what Ananias said. Paul was baptized and from that time on began to teach people about Jesus. We don't have to have an experience like Paul to be saved. But we do have to do some things like Paul did. Like Paul, we must believe what we've heard about Jesus, that he can forgive us of our sins. We also must repent. This means that we must change who we are and do what Jesus wants us to do. We must then be baptized just like Paul. Baptism means we are put under water and brought back up from it. This is a way of showing that we have died, been buried, and rose from the dead, just like Jesus. After our baptism, our sins are forgiven, and now we become followers of Jesus. From that time on, we live as Jesus wants us to. And like Paul, we try to teach others about Jesus so that they can also be saved from their sins. So this week, let's take what we've learned about Jesus and do what he wants us to do.